Hey guys, it's Jerry. Um, just wanted to do a quick video on um, a question I got in reference to sandboxing. There, there was a couple of features on Panda that I didn't get to on my last video. So I figured I'd do a third video and I'd kind of do a uh, quick wrap up of, uh, of Panda and give you some additional information. Uh, first thing that I wanted to mention is uh, Panda keeps popping up that intrusion attempts were blocked and um, if it comes up I'll show you but there's a little informational icon that you can click on and it gives you the um, it gives you the IP, IP address of that intrusion but not much more information so I'm not sure what these intrusion attempts are I'm not sure if, it, if it's because it's a virtual machine it feeds off the host machine, and that's why it uh, it blocks uh, what what it calls intrusion attempts. But if anybody knows what that means or what that is, or if there's a way to pinpoint um, where it's coming, where these intrusion uh, attempts are coming from, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, number two is the feature that you can remote into your uh, computer from from any other computer so as long as you have an internet connection you can remote into your PC at home or office wherever you have Panda installed and uh, what you can do is you can share files you can um, you know remote in to basically do whatever it is that you need to do from a remote location what I find what I found to be kind of a pain is that um, it's a it's a pretty extensive process to get yourself set up um, to to do it. You know they use Be Anywhere, which is uh, I guess a third party um, company that they use a third party software to set up with Be Anywhere. I mean it is a free service, so that's good. Um, and it says here it's Panda Safe Browser, and it says that. Uh, the program allows you to browse the web safely and privately without being affected by malware or exploits that can be hidden uh, on any site. Every time you click, well, no, this is the um, this is the sandboxing. Sorry, uh, I don't know why that came up automatically, but anyway, um, if I click on Be Anywhere, uh, you have to go through a process to register to sign up with Be Anywhere. Then you got to um, download the software, you got to set up the server, and then if you go into another PC, um, you have to download this like server connection thing on that PC, and then you can remote in. The other thing is you have to keep the computer on, and you have to, um, you have to be sure that the Anywhere is on and is running on your, your PC, in order for that to work. So it does work. I tried it out and uh, like I said, it is a pretty long process. Um, but once you get it set up, it, um, you know, it's good to go and you can re remote in, which is, which is pretty cool. And like I said, you can, um, uh, you know, you have to log in, you can, you know, remote in and do whatever. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, I'll, I'll put in my email and password. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, just wanted to show you what this looks like. Uh, I got a few things open on the host machine, and you know this remote access has taken up a lot of memory, obviously, but. Um, you know, I'm remoting in from the uh, virtual machine and uh, kind of gives you an idea of what this looks like. All you need to do is go into beanywhere.com after you set up your, um, you download, you set up the software, you register it, and you do everything. Um, if you're on a remote PC, let's say at work or, or somewhere else and you want to remote in, as long as you have your own PC on, you can go into beanywhere.com. You can uh, log in, and um, after you do that, then it'll um, it'll log you in, and this is what the screen will look like. 
It'll be um, this be anywhere virtual or, or, or you know screen, and then it'll um, it'll bring up your PC from your remote location. Okay. Um, if you want to set up these uh, uh, this this additional uh, component for Panda, it it doesn't for some reason it doesn't automatically. Well, I know the reason. It doesn't automatically set up when you download and you install Panda because like I said it is a third part it is third party software so I'm assuming that they couldn't include it in the um, original software or the package because it is third party software so after you install um, Panda then what you do is you go in and you have to install additional tools and the way to do that I found is that you go into all programs under Panda Global Protection, you click on that, and then right here you're going to have an additional tools folder. You click on that and you can install your remote access, which I did. You can install the USB vaccine uh, component that the website talked about. Uh, this is where you set up your rescue disk and also the safe browsing. Okay, and again, safe browsing along with remote access, which is the two additional components that I installed, are third party software, so that's probably the reason why it doesn't come pre installed. The other thing that I wanted to talk about real quick is safe browsing. Now, safe browsing, what, <laughs> what I found is I set that up, and what you do is you install VirtualBox, some VirtualBox. Uh, you set it up. It's, uh, I believe, an XP um, virtual machine that the software sets up for you within uh, VirtualBox. And uh, then if you click on this Panda Safe Browser and you go into it, see, so it tells you that it's going to be in a, in a virtual environment. And then once you get out of it, all the um, data is deleted automatically. So if I, if I click on proceed, and again, you know, this computer is, this virtual machine is flat out right now. I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna work. But in any case, uh, let's see what happens. When I tried it yesterday, when I kind of, um, I, I looked it up on their help to find out, you know, because I couldn't find the uh, safe browser. It's not like you could just right click on Internet Explorer like something like uh, Avast or um, Kaspersky where you can right click and hit um, Sandbox or you know hit Safe Run or whatever the case may be. Um, so uh, basically what you do is you uh, click on this icon here for Panda Safe Browser and it brings you to VirtualBox. Now my the problem I had with this is that um, when I tried it and it tried to open the virtual machine, I guess you would call it, to uh, to use the, the the safe browsing. It, uh, it it pulled up a you know a fatal message that you know almost like nothing was there, nothing um, you know nothing was uh, was loaded up. It didn't load correctly for for whatever reason. So because of that, I wasn't able, and I followed the instructions, I followed the, the wizard to set up the Panda Safe Browser. You know, everything was done according to, um, to you know, to the instructions. But when I tried, tried to open the um, virtual box or, you know, the, the, the Sun virtual box, I got that, um, that error message. So... Um, let me see if I can get this to work. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. Uh, yeah, so this is the Panda Safe Browser. Uh, it's running in the virtual box. I double-clicked on it. When I double-click on it, it comes up with this message fatal cannot read from the boot medium system halted so it's almost like you know when you try to um, put in a, a, a operating disk 
uh, operating system disk and the disk is corrupted or something and you get that fatal message if there is no operating system attached to it well uh, this is what you get so whenever I try to uh, to open it up and see right here I'm trying to close it and uh, it, it has the XP icon so I'm assuming that they set up the, the safe browser within an XP machine but for some reason it's not working so if somebody from Panda happens to watch this or somebody that's used it and, and knows uh, if there's an issue or, or maybe if, if I did something wrong they can um, and let me know why I'm getting this other message um, so yeah you double click on Panda safe browser you proceed and I close a few things, so hopefully this will work a little bit faster. Well, I thought it was going to be a quick video, but uh, I guess not. Yeah, so it doesn't work. So anyway, uh, that's that's the story with that. Um, the um, be anywhere the, the virtual machine thing um, that that worked fine when I tried it yesterday I was able to uh, log in um, so that that works really good uh, so I mean that's a great feature that you can re remote in from anywhere uh, if you need to re remote into your system it's just like I said you need to leave your computer on obviously in order to do that which is true for any uh, virtual uh, or you know remote access software. So um, that's it as far as that's concerned. I just wanted to cover a couple of things that I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to do on my last video. Um, and again, if anybody has any, any additional info on why I'm having issues with the safe browser, uh, if you can shoot me a, a message or put comments in, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. So that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.